Greetings, some folk. And today we're launching my first series. It's gonna be a nice plane blast into the past. Spiral. Absolute quality. Now you're probably gonna watch all the Let's Plays and people are gonna play it better, but I don't care. I've not played this game since I was. I don't even know how old I was last time I played this game. Obviously, I've been playing it off recording as well. I had to, how could I not? This game was, in fact, a birthday gift. Utterly amazing, I couldn't have asked for anything else. Or any other top of the line game. But this was definitely number one. <clears throat> I've been waiting so long. Okay, rolling. Uh. Oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the Five Worlds. Or is it six? <laughs> For a Dragon's Age, we now have 12,000 treasure. Or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Huh? Looks like I've got some things to do. Ha! <laughs> Oh, God forbid, whatever will we do? Baby dragon can't save nobody. Well, let's just see about that. Right, we're going to crack on and get as much done as we can. I'm going to try and keep these episodes fairly short. You know, it's going to be my first Let's Play project, so we'll see. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. I'm sure he could actually tell me more if he really wanted to. Um, but we're not going to find five, was it five dragons? We're not going to find five and go back and go to the next world, no. We're, uh, we're going to 100% this baller. 100. I just have to, it's, I'm, I don't know if I'm, I'd say I'm a completionist per se, but I remember as a kid this was one game that like, I felt good when I did 100% a world. Now, obviously I'm a lot older and I know what I'm doing when it comes to video games, whereas when I was like 12 I didn't. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. So for anyone watching this, if you have played the game, I'm not going to talk over the dragons or anyone else talking. Just, I'd, I don't think it'll be nice. I say nice, nice effect. I don't, I don't know if that's what I want to call it, but... I don't want to ruin the experience of the game. I don't know if that's the point of the let's play, but like I said, I've never done one before. We'll just see how it goes. Now, I can't... I need to make sure I get everything here. Nothing there. Oh, the ledge up there. I remember we can get up to here. It's going to be a perfect jump, right? Oh, no. I hope this doesn't take like four or five attempts, otherwise I'm going to cut. There we go. So that's my first skill point. I'll we'll get 100 gems in our items, I think. There's one more. This guy. More gems down here. Oh, it's another dragon. Thomas or Thomas? Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. 
Hmm. Why would Spyro be afraid of that? There's some over there. I thought they were on my left hand side. And then we've got this guy. Go here. You are nothing to me. Get torched. The game is around back. Yeah. I've got to keep track for myself. I know I need a hundred. Can't remember where they all are. Couple here. Couple here. Some over the other side. 75. Let's see how many worlds I can actually get done. I don't want to dawdle too much because I feel like it's... They're not very long games if I remember correctly, but... We're just going to jump straight in. I can find the other gems and stuff in between. There's no point in me running back and forth between portals when I can like well, can hundred percent the other world. Well, hundred percent the home world between worlds. If that makes sense. Well it does to me. It makes sense to me. Town Square. See the thing is, is I don't even I don't even really remember. I remember our eyes, I'm just, you know, like the first home world. I remember that clearly from the first Spyro, but I never played the first Spyro that much. I don't think I finished it. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. I'm more so. I also definitely remember Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon because, you know, I was a bit more versed in how the game works and I don't remember playing 1 very much. I definitely, definitely remember playing Ripto's Rage because it was Wally and I just hope that when we get to the remake of Ripto's Rage it just does it some good and well deserved justice. I'm sure it will, but even playing the game not on recording, playing it, you know, by myself, I've still not 100%ed Spyro the Dragon yet, so... Extra lives... We'll see, we'll see how we get on. Who's this? Devlin. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Yeah, thank you very much. I did know that. I've known that for years. Pretty sure because uh, you get told it about a thousand times while playing the game. It's hard to not know it. God, I hate you. I'm gonna get you. So frustrating. Swear. Come here, you little. Catch him because he really jumps here. Yeah. Oh well. That's a bit of a I don't. When he, when he jumps, he jumps back up, doesn't he? I'm sure he did. I can't. He's right down there. And I think, if I remember correctly, last time, I actually got him while he was down there. I can't remember, but. I get the last of these jumps over here. I'll do all this first. Give me that gem. Give me those gems. Knock you over, and we'll save Thor. See, Thank he's you called for Thor. Releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. He's called Thor, but he's a really old dragon, and he doesn't have a hammer. I'm disappointed. It just, it just, That's something I should be disappointed with. I don't know, to be honest. There we go, another skill point. Let's knock all the balls over. I've got 30 more gems to find here. Is that all of them? Is that every gem? No, two more. What have I missed? No, oh, I think maybe I missed some when I was chasing the egg thief. Hm. Spyro, do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! 
I'm getting a little winded. Wow, well, okay. Don't hurt yourself, man. Is there a Mr. Chem up here? I'm sure this is where it'll be. Yeah, there's a green one. That's the two. Come here, you little. No, see, I knew, I knew he jumped up there. The last time this happened, I, I was I was infuriated. I was like, how can he do that? How can he jump up there? And I can't. And I've got to go all the way back over here just to get a shot at catching him. Look there already, look. Got to be a perfect catch, this one. Yeah, got him. No, it'll cut I wonder why. Right, there we go, level 100%. Let's go. Get ourselves out of here and try and get as much done as we can. Um, I'm thinking 20-ish minutes an episode. It's not bad. It's enough time to get stuff done. Not too long that you'll get bored watching half an hour plus like my last one, my Overwatch upload. That was it was a it was a good practice for editing. That was. If you've seen my Overwatch videos, they're terrible. And I'm probably going to put out more of those at some point. Like I say, they're really good for editing. It's really good practice and just getting me used to the software. I don't think there's going to be as much editing in, in this as a series. So, yeah, I've never done a project like this before. So we'll find out. We'll figure it out. We'll see how I get there. Does this guy... I, I caught this guy, didn't I? Yeah, he doesn't have gems. So I think the gems I'm missing here... Must be down here towards the bluenest chests. Yeah, this will be where the remaining few were. No? I'm still missing ten. Oh, it's where the boss is, isn't it? I assume so. Oh, put it out. I forgot there was even a dragon here. There we go. Who are you? I can't remember your name. Argus. Ah. Uh. Cool flash. Do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal behind me. You can challenge him now if you feel you are ready. I feel I am ready, but I will not be challenging him yet. We're gonna go and finish Stonehill. Stonehill's the easy one, I think. I think it's the first one you're supposed to do, actually. Don't know why I did Town Square first. Don't know if anybody's tried a gingerbread latte from Costa. But the ones you make at home are quite nice, actually. You know, you get for your little coffee machine. However many people actually have one of those. Maybe it's just me. I know a few people who have them. It is Christmas time, after all. Gotta get into the spirit. of this bar humbug. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, I remember... I thought there was a sheep here. Uh, hang on, because this is the end of the level, right? Oh, who's that? Another life. Go down here. Because my key is here. Rescue this dude. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No. Thanks. See ya. Bye. Run. Ancient dragons telling people stories. No, thank you. I'm not sure I'm not missing any gems out here. I don't think so. I think I've got them all. There's definitely a few in here. I think the, the. I don't know if. 
I can't remember the old games. It's been that long since I've played them. But I'm sure I rem don't remember the flame actually being as good as it is. Don't remember you being able to hit multiple chests with one breath. Maybe it's just me not remembering it well enough. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. No. Spyro never gets into trouble. Okay, I'll demonstrate this. There you go, and this is always saving my progress. Do you, does, does, do you even learn her name in this game? I'm sure she's called Zoe from... Um, remember from Spyro 2, she actually talks to you. For a segment or two, I believe, if I remember correctly. Don't know if in this game you actually speak to her as a character or if it's just the fairy that saves your progress. Watch the I like dragonfly, this guy. Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong, like me. Uh, sure. That mustache. Yeah, we don't want sparks to be anything other than gold. Get toasted. Get head -loaded. Hey, who said you could eat butterflies? Fat dragonfly. It's not on that. There's a lot of gems around the edge, but it's just the enemies in here. I can't remember. There we go, got them ones. Nothing up there. Some there. No, that's just a flower. Getting me mixed up with all my colours. I think blue flowers, blue flowers are not blue gems. Thank you. Run, sheep, run. And that's everything here. I've just got quite a few up top to get now. And this is my last dragon, I think. I'm not going to pronounce that. Spyro, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. When I first come back to this, I went, what's the action button? Nobody's told me what the action button is. But it just turns out it's the lock button. I never, it's not a function I'd find myself using in this game, really, is the lock button. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you really need it. It might be a, the odd occasion where it comes in handy to specifically look at something, but where are you going? Come back here. This one was a bit difficult if I remember last time. I ended up chasing him for ages, run circles around me. Not this time, I hope. No, look how he seems to run faster than me. Cut the corners and flame him. Like so. That was pretty much a solid loop, I think, near enough. Yeah, near enough, because the chest is there. Also, where's the pink tulip? It's here, right? Fire! Spyro hates pink flowers. Because they're not purple, I guess. Hey, this dragon can be picky about flowers if he wants to. Don't judge him or he'll set you on fire. It's that simple. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually coming up. So we're near enough 20 minute mark already. That seems to have gone really fast. Two gems here. Um, I feel like I'm missing a lot. Like, where are all these gems? I know there's some here. I want to try and avoid using sparks. Oh, six. Is the last, are the last of them on this side? One, two. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Done. Let's get out of here. Progress, progress, progress. Return home. Fly, little dragon. Done a solid 500 treasure already. I feel like we've got so much more to do, though. It's not fair. Right, well, for episode one of Spiral the Dragon, I'm going to leave it here. But um, thank you all very much for watching, and I hope you tune in for episode two. 
Hey, it shouldn't be long after this one, I don't think. I'm going to try and do these in block recordings, but we'll see how they go. Thank you very much. Peace out, folks.